Uh, my name is Lady GTK. I'm not completely new to the uh, vlogosphere, I guess it is. I'm not completely new to it, I have been doing vl vlogs for a while. Um, however, not in the same way that like, you know, I'm discovering YouTube in a whole new way right now. It's really cool actually. So I thought I would do my video blog today on my top, my favourite, absolute favourite top uh, YouTube discoveries for 2008. I know we're only in August, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, drum roll, Temple Christian. <laughs> yeah, Temple Christian or Girl Talk TV is out there doing some crazy, amazing stuff. Temple, you're a good guy. You're, you're a real good guy, you, you know. I, I want this, I'm doing this also as a kind of a promo thing. I'm trying to put you guys out there. I'm, I'm not just going to be like, I, I want you to know why. You know, I I recommend going on to YouTube and checking out his website and, you know, checking out his videos. It's completely worth it. And I can tell you exactly why. Now, Temple Christian is a young black brother. That's kind of got it going on. Not just I'm, um, I mean yes, financial stability, financial security, and those things are important. But more so, f for me, um, I think finding, seeing young black people out there who are about something positive, you know, have got a really strong positive message that they're putting out there, and they're thinking clearly, and they're you know they're communicating with people, and they're raising very interesting dialogue. That's 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 Temple Christian. That's what that's what he's that's what he's kind of about. That's what he's out there doing. Um, we're talking hardcore, um, touching uh, topics, including why black women date white men, why black men date white women, to um, you know why you should keep your legs shut on the first date, for instance. <laughs> kind of, but from a really insightful kind of place. You know, he does come from a really insightful place and I've, I'm, I've, that's like one of my absolute favourite discoveries, 2008, Temple Christian, um, Girl, Girl Talk TV, you've got, you got to check it out. And my other, I am not, this isn't in any, it's not Temple first and this second, it's not, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing that, I'm not ranking them. They're just my two absolute top favorite YouTube discoveries for 2008. The second is the absolutely fabulous, the absolutely gorgeous V-Scott. <laughs> V-Scott, brother, I got love for you. I have mad, 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 mad love for B Scott. And I got to tell you this. I've got this is a really funny story. Um, it wasn't Tap Your Neighbor Tuesday. Um, it wasn't actually Tap Your Neighbor Tuesday. I was tapping. I was tapping people anyway. And I told a friend of mine. I had a, a happened to be gay a friend of mine who had come round to my place and I, just at the time when I had discovered you and I had to share your video blogs with him and he was so blown away we were like sitting there my sister came down and we we're all sitting there like having this fabulous time listening to you know spirited giving it all that and we went for a dinner party later on that evening and we were talking about you to you know in, in, in our little group there and when asked <laughs> when my friend was asked to describe B Scott he basically, brazenly, took one look at everybody uh, at the dinner table and said, B. Scott is basically the gay, the male gay version of Lady D2K. Yeah. Apparently, B. Scott, uh, you've got, <laughs> if you were wondering whether you had, like, you know, a... a, a a female version of you running around. She's 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 in she's in London, England. Ma, African to the core, apparently. Just 
the complete the fabulousness, you know. And I'm gonna say, uh, B Scott, one of your because I also wanted to kind of comment on some of the things that I had listened to on you know, in some of your, your blogs and things that I had found particularly moving. And there was a particular post that you did on, um, it was on, you know, not convincing people, the reasons why you had to stop convincing people to be with you. That, mm, you know, you know, I had to send that to the man. I loved that post. It was so powerful. Um, you know, I, one of the bits that I loved the most in that was when you said, and it resounded very strongly with me, um, it's not a competition. And if it was a competition, you'd won that a long time ago. I, I found that, that that was like, that was a really powerful statement and it was something that I could really relate to. So it, it really powerful stuff. Loved it. Love, love, love B. Scott. Just deep brother. So much love for you, darling. Um... Yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to say. Temple. I have to make a comment on the whole black women not really finding black men today or black men having issues with black women. Um, I, I asked around, I asked about this. I asked a couple of my, my friends after watching your video, but I asked a few friends um, what they thought. Because I date interracially myself. At the moment, I am, um, I am madly in love with the great uh, Guyanese man. I appreciate being a strong black couple. I appreciate the the importance of having more, um, you know, strong, beautiful about something uh, black couples out there because the it's the example is having the example out there really. Um, for younger ones, you know, for coming up to see that they are black couples and, you know, they can kind of, you see it, you know, it, it becomes a realistic aspiration for you. Um, it's something that you can envision yourself in. You can more easily want to be a part of. I pretty much agree with a lot of the things that you said regarding black men, uh, black women and dating outside the race. Uh, in terms of black women needing a uh, stability that men aren't able to give and black women um, needing to kind of check themselves in terms of their expectations of black men and you know really understanding the needs like what, what it is that a man needs and you know to kind of add my, my two cents or whatever to that I would probably say Black men and women need to be more sensitive to the needs of, of the other. We are, we do need each other. You know, I'm, I'm not a feminist at all. I, I'd very gladly say, you know, hand me over from my dad to, the, to my husband. And it's not because it, I, I, I recognize the need for a, strong man in my life I recognize the need for a man that I can nurture and I can look after and someone that can be the other half of the family that I want to create and I came from a, a family where I had both my parents um they got divorced when I was quite a bit older you know um anyway yeah, I just want to give a shout out to you guys out there for the great work you're doing. Uh, got to recommend them. You guys have to check them out. They're really cool. They're like, and the the production quality that goes into the stuff that these guys are doing. They take their time in in thinking about the content and in in presenting it in a way that that flows and is eloquent and is beautiful and they're beautiful. B. Scott and uh, Temple Christian, y'all are great. Like you have, you have, you have a, a big fan in London, and I'm going to be doing a lot of promotional work um, for you guys as well. I'm here, my little Facebook community. <laughs> thanks for taking the time to check this out, and um, thanks for taking the time to check it out. 